Hi, everybody. Linda from Let's Talk Prepping. Don't underestimate what is coming our way. And don't be surprised by it. And please don't panic. But I just want you to know there is still time to prepare. How much time do you have? Nobody knows. I can't tell you for sure. We can only guess. But you have time until the grocery store shelves are empty. You have time until all the online stores are empty or run out of goods. Just look around you. How can you be surprised and not see what is happening? I have friends who go about their daily lives and don't have any idea of how bad things are. They really are clueless. Oh, they might know there's a shortage of baby formula or there's a shortage now of tampons, but they don't use those things so it doesn't compute with them. They go to work, they do their family outings, they watch TV, they look at the movies, whatever it happens to be, and they pretend everything will remain the same. And they actually expect things to get better and to go back to normal. Well, I'm here to tell you today, it's going to be up to you to take care of your family. No one is coming to your aid. And I just want you to know there really is time to prepare. It's the unprepared who are going to be in trouble. Look at everything that is happening that has never happened before. How can they think that things will go back to normal? Think about it. We have food shortages, medical supply shortages. I just heard they had shortages of IV tubes, of surgical supplies, of injectables, of saline. And my friend who has to have, I don't know if it's a CAT scan or an MRI scan, where they inject the dye, she was told that there's a shortage of the dye and they were trying to dilute it and use it, but then it, everything didn't show up in the scan. So there's all kinds of shortages, food shortages, medical shortages, medical supply shortages, chip shortages. We've got the high fuel prices. Diesel fuel is out of control. And our whole economy basically runs on diesel when you think about it. Then look at the stock market declines, the uncontrolled money printing. Some say that we're in a recession and others say we've got a depression that's going to be coming. We have the droughts, we have bird flu, we have wheat and rice shortages, fertilizer scarcity. I mean, I just can't name everything that's happening now. All those food plants that have been burning down. Then there's talk about World War III. Will it happen? I don't know. Most people don't know. I don't have any insider information, but I can tell you if I were Russia or China and I was ever going to attack the U.S., now would be the time. We are in such disarray they will be able to overtake us in no time. We don't manufacture anything anymore. Uh, we don't have any missiles supposedly anymore. So we have to worry about that. And don't forget the rolling blackouts that are predicted for this summer. Temperatures were around 100 in Ohio and they had blackouts. So I want you to get ready, get your food, get your seeds, because you're going to have to resupply your food, and gardening is going to be the way to do this. This isn't going to be a short-term thing. It will last for years. And if a war starts, it will be many years. Think about those things that you use every day or will need in the future. And think about getting those things now. If the electric goes out, what will you do in the 100-degree heat? What will you do in the middle of winter? What can you get now? Does your car need repair? Does your house need repair? Do your windows need repair? You've got to get as prepared now as you can be. And the one thing I really want you to do, since it's summertime now, and you've got all the farm stands and you've got the food co-ops, I want you to go and find all the farm stands that are near you I want you to start going to the farm stands and form a relationship with these people so that when the grocery stores run out of food, you might be able to go to your local farmer and get some. 
So get as prepared as you can be. It is up to you. No one will come to help you. Don't underestimate what they have planned for us. It is coming if it's not here already. So prepare now while there's still time because there is time. Comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.